Hey everybody, it's Matt here, Flat Fender Crawlers. Today we've got a G.I. Joe, or Hasbro, G.I. Joe Willys 1-6 scale Jeep on the workbench. This is one that I bought off of eBay a while back. And uh, we're getting ready to start a build. So we're going to show you the first steps that we take here to get this going. And that starts with disassembly. So hang tight and we'll get rolling on this. Okay, here we go. We are going to get started with the disassembly of this Jeep. Uh, it's very, very simple actually to take this part. We're gonna flip it over. This is supposed to hold some jerry cans under here. I bought this one off eBay, it's just parts, so it's missing some stuff, but that doesn't matter. This is a pretty special uh, build we're gonna do here where we're not gonna need any of this, honestly. Um, all right, so flip it over. What you got here, is a frame assembly that's on here it's held on by a bunch of screws so we will blow those apart they are coarse thread screws so it all comes apart pretty darn quick you want to hold on to these screws because you will reuse them later after we uh, get the frame modified and put it back together. We're going to use these same screws to put the whole thing back together. So make sure you put those in a safe spot when you're tearing down. Somewhere to store them during the build process. I usually keep four of them out while I am doing the build because you'll take the frame off and put it back on multiple times when you're measuring stuff. Some of them come out, some of them kind of stay stuck in there, but most of the time you can get them. I don't know where that one went, but oh, it's right here in the wheel well. Yeah, if they don't want to come out when you you can flip it over too and they'll they'll come out no big deal there's always one more too that is forgotten right back there in that little channel there now take this frame just pops right off this whole assembly just comes right off of there and we're gonna need that I'll set it aside for just a moment this bumper, you can keep it and modify it if you want to. I don't ever do that. Uh, I don't really like these bumpers. It's not what I'm going for. I just throw them away. Now, front tires pop off there. That's that. Again, you can keep these if you want, but I have no use for it. We will have no use for them in the future. Let's go right in the trash. What we're left with is the body. Right. right down in here, there's one more screw. I take it out, and then two on the inner fenders on each side. take these out now it's too far down in there so we pull off our hood and dash okay pop that out of there because you don't want to lose it and what you're left with you got your hood and dash set that aside you got your main body the grill will come out set that aside too for later and then you got your frame section that is the first part of disassembly pretty quick and easy that's the end of part one we will uh meet back here in just a minute for part two thanks for watching guys